Hello everyone. In this uh, part of my lecture, I'm going to show you how to do a chi-square test using SPSS, and then I'm going to show you how to draw a a cluster bar chart of your S of your chi-square results. So what we have in this uh, in this tutorial, uh, based upon my lecture notes, we have this uh, family uh, family size. So that comes from the variable uh, number of number of uh, family members. Here is the variable. And and I recorded them actually. So I took this uh, skill skill variable and I recorded them to family record, as you can see in my variable view. So this is uh, what you see: one 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 value, one code for four or less family size, and two, four, five or more family size. And that I use this variable, this skill variable, to record into two categories. Similarly, here are the number of cars. Uh, family owns this is again it's a scale scale variable and I recorded them into a this categorical variable number of cars as you can see this one also here one code represents zero one car two code represent two or more cars and this is what I recorded them based upon these two variables here so what do we want to do here is just to run a chi square test to see that if the number of car ownership depends upon the family size and that's what we, we, we want to do here in this example so we go here on analyze okay just go and analyze you don't have to hi highlight anything just go and analyze and uh, check onto the cross tabs and then select your variables so you have this family size and family size goes on column as I was discussing the uh, the structure about the cross tab in the in the tab line so the uh, demographic information like family size will go on column which which, uh, which is also known as banner points and then we have a number of cards which is go on a row. Uh, rows also represent as a stops, also, also called stops. So this is rows, okay? And um, and we check on the stati statistics and we check onto the chi square, okay? And then we go on the cells and we click onto the column. We don't, we are not interested in, in other other portion of the cross tab. We only interested in observe uh, frequencies and the percentage of the column percentages, which will be the family size. And that's pretty much we have to do. Don't worry about other options. We don't. We are, that options are not uh, useful to us at this point. So just uh, focus on the statistics uh, portion, which is a chi square, and the uh, cell, which is your uh, observed and the column percentages. All right. Just simply say okay. And what we have right now is a result of the uh, of the chi square table. So we got this um, uh, this very nice cross uh, cross tab here. So we can see the uh, uh, it almost 90% of the uh, smaller family four or less own a, a 90 uh, uh, have zero or one car, whereas the uh, whereas the larger family, which is five plus, have two or more cars, 77.3%. And uh, this number here, you see that this number, this is your uh, chi-square test statistics, 41.103. And of course, we can always go back to our uh, stats critical value of chi squared compare it. But the, thankfully, when we run this test in SPSS, it gives us p value for us. So when you see this number, this is really is a is a p value. So p value you can see that is 0 0.000, which is way less than alpha 5%. Uh, typically, we use 5% as a significance level. So so this p-value is way less than 5% significance level. So basically it's saying that yes, yes, the, there is a relationship between family size and number of cars and and there, and, and there is association. So, so there is, so it confirms statistically, it confirms the hypothesis that the car ownership depends upon the family size. So, so next thing, which is very obvious, this is a nice result that we also want to uh, present our result in a graph form. So what you need to do for that for this graph is so so follow my steps go into the graph and check into the chart builder and say okay and you are going to see this different options of this bar chart here so click on to this uh, cluster bar and then here you go ahead and select your variables so I'm going to select the family size on x axis okay and the number of cars as a cluster. Okay, that's what I did, right? And now you see is by count. So we are not interested in count. We want to see a percentage. So on the so on the element properties, uh, you can check these properties here. So it's asking you uh, what what 
uh, right now it's showing up as a count so we don't want count we want to see a percentage so check under the percentage right so right now the percentage is based on total 100 but but we want to see a percentage based upon the each categories which is like small family large family so we're going to set the parameters here and we right now it's a grand total which is out of 100 but we don't want this we want this total for the each x axis categories okay so don't worry about other two just what you want okay and you say continue and say okay and what we have is a beautiful chart you can see that it shows up here right and of course percent is not showing up you can always click on here and ask for show the numbers and here the numbers are of course you can always um, uh, you can always um, you can always adjust the how you want to see your numbers for example so this way number shows up and this is the same percentage we were talking about earlier so you can see that uh, uh, and of course you can always change if you don't like your two decimal places you can always change your uh, values right now it's two decimal places you know what i don't want two decimal places i just want one decimal place so you can you can change always change those numbers okay you can always make it bold etc so there's a bunch of properties you can check so what you're really seeing in this uh, in this chart here is this very interesting is this you're seeing is this is of course the chart shows up here by the way okay and uh, it's, it's really showing us that the same thing basically what we saw earlier in, in, in the cross tab okay exactly we're seeing the same thing what we saw earlier in the cross tab here uh, saying that is uh, uh, a smaller family have 90 percent of car ownership zero and you can see that between uh, zero and one cars 90 percent and whereas in the larger families five or more have 77 percent car ownership so this is how you do your uh, chi-square test and this is how you run your cluster bar per, uh, per percentage by a uh, um, cluster bar chart okay so yeah so give a try to your own project and um, and have fun um, uh, analyzing uh, your survey data using SPSS.